G'day. You know, sometimes you come across an amazing piece of wood, be it grain colour, shape, and you scratch your head thinking, how's this project going to turn out? I met a bloke who has a, uh, a wood mill. He mainly produces slabs. Gave him a call and asked if he had slabs three to six inches thick, semi or totally dried, didn't matter. So I met with him and ended up buying several slabs that would make some great bowl blanks. We had poplar, walnut, cherry, and butternut. The butternut slab was seven by seven inches wide, eight foot long. One end was so knotty and split, the guy said, you can have that for free. I got eight pieces of seven by seven, seven bowl blanks and a foot or so what I thought was waste. Fair dinkum price as each pole blank cost around five bucks a piece. So the bowl I'm turning today is that chunk of waste piece that uh, I was going to throw in the bin. It looks like this. Follow me to the end and see how it turned out. If you like this video, hit the like button. And any questions, I'd love to hear from your comments. Cheers, guys. Yeah, as usual, much of my videos, I'm going to speed up sections that uh, are going to be long-winded, but you still get the idea of how things are done. So <clears throat> this is the beginning of um, the Hunter Tools Hercules. It's a uh, cupped carbon... Um, Color. It, it really hogs out the material, so I use this an awful lot when I'm first starting to turn the bowl. I use this one and the Viceroy. As you'll see in the video just a little bit later, just down the track here, you'll see me with uh, a close-up of uh, the two heads. Um, great tools, guys. If you're ever wanting to um, use tools like this to get into any type of um, hogging out of materials, there for the job. Turn's been uh, threaded onto the bowl now. And I start off with a uh, <coughs> 3 8 bowl gouge. Um, obviously sharp, sharp all the time. And um, I don't really concentrate on uh, you know smooth cuts at this stage. Just get the material out of the way. So there is a picture of um, the Hercules uh, cupped carbon cutter. Um, you see as the uh, shavings come off there, it, it's almost as if it was using a standard bowl gouge. Back to um, the standard bowl gouge with the Ellsworth Cup, 55 degrees. I'm just doing the outside of the bowl here first, taking the corner off. Push cuts, pull cuts. Um, generally riding the bevel there on the outside just to get the shape. And as I said, the grain in this particular piece of wood is... Uh, Amazing, so I'm going along with the, the uh, shape of the bowl on the outside to be This is the Viceroy Hunter's tool um, It's curved to the left so that you can get um, undercuts into the bowls So I use this in a, taking the uh, most of the material out of the inside of the bowl as you can see Got some uh, um, slow motion pieces here. You can see exactly how much of those uh, uh, shavings are coming out, just if it was a bulk bowl gouge. It's almost done now, moving into the center of the bowl. You know, turning this um, butternut wood. It's almost as if it's uh, walnut. It's very, very similar. Um, it's great wood to turn with. Got a heap of bowl blanks to um, make similar sort of bowls. But this particular one had a lot of knots and um, branch joints in the actual wood itself. So it came out extremely well. You see, sometimes a piece of wood can be a one-off. It's a unique and they can make something really nice out of it. I do go to the finishing cuts with a bowl gouge at the end. And I stand through to around about 340 grit on this bowl. There are some parts I spent some extra time into um, getting uh, the tear out. Now I use Geyser uh, Axe Abrasive Paste um, as the first sanding um, stage. And then I follow up with a polish, uh, Axe Polishing and Restoring Paste. And then finally I use the Mylan's Friction polish 
So as you see at the end here in some of the stills, um, how it all comes out, it comes out uh, a great finish. So um, that's the video coming towards an end here. Again, please, um, if you like this video, um, hit the like button. Um, if you want to follow me, then sure, um, please subscribe. i much appreciate it if you did. But mostly, if you can give me back some comments on uh, my video style, if you think you like it, um, great, just let me know. Um, be good to hear from you all. Here you go. Cheers, guys.